I've always been one of those people that changes out parts of their everyday carry, but since the pandemic has started and I've been working from home, I've carried this tried and tested configuration. These are the things you'll find on me 24 seven, at the grocery store, on my motorcycle, at the playground with my kids, let's empty out my pockets and talk EDC. Let's start with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is the newest addition to my EDC. I work for a tech company and I'm lucky enough to be able to regularly upgrade my phone. When the iPhone 10 came out, I used that for work, but I ran the original iPhone SE for evenings and weekends for a while. I love small phones. When Apple announced the iPhone 12 mini, I was in heaven. No compromises, tiny, great screen, great camera, lightweight, same screen as the Pro. The battery wasn't great, but we're all working from home, so who cares? I leave it on its charger while I'm at my desk. But with going back to the office and the horizon, I played around with the iPhone 12 Pro, but ultimately switched over to this iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I really enjoy it. I have to say that I don't really notice the 120 Hertz display refresh rate, but the cameras are really phenomenal. I do consume more content on it instead of reaching for my iPad. It's also big enough for my chunky fingers to be a viable alternative to a keyboard, and I use it more and more for email and Slack. And the battery lasts almost two days of normal use. Phenomenal effort, Apple. So let's talk about my watch. Well, watches. I've worn a Rolex Submariner for the last 12 years, and besides this photo, it never leaves my wrist. I bought it in Ireland in 2010 when this version of the ceramic bezel came out. At the time, I had just won an award, and with the cash I wanted to get something meaningful that I had always wanted. I bought this watch, and of the material possessions I own in this world, this one means the most to me. I love that it's kinetic, charges by my movement and my body. One of my favorite things about this is how the second hand just kind of floats around the face. It's such a classic. Of course it's a status symbol, I know that and I'm not going to pretend that it isn't, but when I look at it, it reminds me that hard work pays off. I wear this watch doing everything, cleaning dishes, working on engines, whatever I'm doing, this watch is on my wrist and I'll wear this watch for the rest of my life. However, this puts me in somewhat of a conundrum. I love tracking my data and I've owned an Apple watch since the original Series Zero. I've owned the Series 2, Series 3, and I've currently got the Apple Watch Series 4 Wi-Fi and cellular. I haven't had a compelling reason to upgrade since the 4, but had the 7 been the watch that we were all promised, I would have probably made the jump. I'm almost certain that the Series 8 will make the difference. But you just said you wear your Rolex all the time. You can't wear two watches. Can't I? I do. I wear a Rolex on my left arm, and I use it for the time and date. And I wear my Apple Watch on my right, and I use it for data tracking, fitness, calls, and other smartphone stuff. I'm fully aware that this makes me look ridiculous, but that's just kind of what I've settled into. I wear my Apple Watch all day and night and then charge it when I get to my desk in the morning. It's a routine that works well and it keeps me closing my rings. Or at least aware that I haven't been closing my rings. If I could ask Apple for one feature, it would be that the watch face didn't show the time. With cellular data, I love that I can leave my phone at home when I'm out for a walk and I can still take a call. And my favorite feature is find my iPhone. Oh, it's in my pocket again. Okay, so my next piece of EDC electronics that I schlep around with me everywhere I go are my AirPods Pro. I'm somewhat of a sucker for headphones and earphones and the AirPod lineup is no exception. I bought the original AirPods when they first came out. I wanted black ones and Apple just refused to make them. So I customized my own. I'm a big fan of customizing things that I own that are mine. I was getting annoyed that they were all white, wanted them to be black, so I just spray painted them. When the pros came out, I ordered them that day and they have been in my pocket every day ever since. I did have a problem with buzzing about a year into owning them, so I brought them into Apple and they replaced them. Not the case though, just the AirPods within them. I was a big fan of the original fit of the AirPods, but these fit me better, but they are super gross. I should probably clean the case more frequently, but these are used 10 times a day, every day, and there really isn't a time to make them look nice. Like everyone, I use them for calls, music, and just general don't talk to me vibes when I'm in public. I like the noise cancelling as well. I like the transparency mode when I'm out commuting. Not yet a fan of the spatial audio, but I'm willing to be wrong when the VR headset comes out next year because I'm sure that will factor in in a big way. And the last piece of electronics that I carry with me every day everywhere I go is an Apple AirTag. When these came out, I bought uh, two. Bo I bought eight of them when they first came out, and I use them for everything. I use them on my keys here. This is the keys to my house. I also use them when I depend. I've got a motorcycle, a scooter, a truck, and each of those, I've got one of those on it as well. I've also hidden them in those vehicles, so if they get stolen, uh, I might be able to track them at least for a limited time until somebody finds them. I think these are fantastic, and I've always used Tile before this, so I was just waiting for Apple to bring these out. I was years waiting for them. These were designed a long time ago before they came out, as you know, and I just waited year after year for them to finally be released. Sticking with my keys, I've got a couple of things here. I've got a blue carabiner. 
I can't remember exactly what I got it, what brand it is, but I'll stick it up on the screen here once I've looked it up. The other thing here is that I've got is that a pen knife. It's called a, a Victorinox Mini Champ Alox. The thing I love about this is, it's always on me for a start. It's got a scissors on it for when I want to cut my nails. It's got um, a small blade or a couple of small blades on it for opening packages. It's got a small Phillips head screwdriver, which comes in super handy. I, I use that once or twice a week for changing batteries out in kids' toys and things like that. Um, and it also has a box opener, which is super helpful for, we all get a lot of packages, gotta be able to open those Amazon boxes. So uh, it's super for that. And then the last thing on this, it's super tiny, but this is how I switch in and out whichever key I'm using, whether it's my truck or my car key or something like that. It's a little copper uh, connector. I've got the male part here on this keyring, and I've got several female parts on the other keyrings, and they just snap into place. So that's the key you're using for that day. And then you just pull it apart and it breaks apart again. I like to keep my keys super minimal, very small in my pocket. Uh, and that's the best way to do it is to just pick the one key that I'm gonna be adding on each day as I use them. Moving on to my wallet. Uh, this wallet is gonna be hard to replace because it's something that I made myself. At my company, I have access to laser printers and I took a couple of sheets of leather. I, I took a class on how you might use, do this using Adobe Illustrator. I basically designed it in 2D in Illustrator and just like you would laser cut some cardboard or a piece of paper, I put some leather in the machine, I cut it and then I stitched it all together. The thing I like about it is it's fully customized for me. This is the exact wallet that I want. It's got three pouches, one on the front, one on the back, and one in the middle here where I keep my credit cards. And I've got room here. So like I said, I'm a fan of tile. I can't wait for Apple to bring out the Apple version of this, but I've got the tile tracker, which I keep in the front pouch here. On the back is where I keep my IDs. I've just covered them up here for this video. And it's also in the middle where I keep my credit cards, including my big fan Apple credit card, which goes with me everywhere. I also keep a small amount of cash on me, bit old school in that way, but always like to have $20 on me when I go anywhere. Moving on, field notes. I take notes wherever I go. I like to take notes on my phone or, or I like to use my Apple Watch if I'm out and about to just record a note and save it to notes. But sometimes you can't really beat having a piece of paper to just take some stuff down, write something down for somebody else. And I always try to carry field notes with me. It's my favorite pocket notebook to bring. I really like the paper. I go for the uh, gray dot version, the dot matrix. And with it, I use, I just carry a pen with me. This is a pen I bought years ago uh, when I was living in the UK. It's a Montblanc Meisterstruck, but it's a ballpoint pen. Just something that I always have in my pocket with me. I really like the, the way the gels work on this, a very fluid pen. And I switch from going from blue ink to black ink, always with this body. The next thing I have here is a piece of jewelry that I've worn on my wrist for 20 years now. This is just a very simple band that I had. I remember watching a Billy Connolly sketch. He's a Scottish comedian you know, more than 20 years ago. And he was wearing a kind of a bracelet like this. And I thought that's really cool. And when I spotted this, uh, this was, I bought this in Ireland, uh, down in Kerry, the Southwest of Ireland. And what it has on it is it's got ohm writing. So it's one of the first forms of, of writing. It's thousands of years old. I'll stick it on the screen how old it is. And all I've done is I've had my name etched in this. So it actually says Marcus, M-A-R-C-U-S from bottom to top. And I wear that on my wrist and have done for a very, very, very long time. And then last but not least is I carry a pocket knife on me wherever I go. This is called a Civivi. I got this about three years ago. Uh, it's still in very good condition. Uh, I like this one because it's not super scary. I guess it is a big knife, but it's it's uh, within California law. I live in California here in the US and, and it meets California regulations. It's also something that, you know, people tend not to be too scared when you pull something like that out. It's not so intimidating. I do find more that when I, this is my favorite knife, when I pull out this, uh, this Benchmade, um, there's something about it that's more tactical and just a little bit, while it's a beautiful knife and an expensive knife, um, it's the type of thing that people tend to get scared of. Look at that motion. That just flicks beautifully. And, and then when you pull it in, it just falls down by itself. But I end up carrying this one uh, more often than not, just because um, it's less uh, stressful for people. I do carry other knives. You know, I kind of rotate them out like anybody. Um, this is, uh, uh, this is my Spyderco, uh, I can't remember what it's called, Cat 10 or something like that. Uh, I got that a very long time ago as well. And here's a smaller bench made. I think it's called a Griptilian. I didn't get, I don't have this too long, maybe two years. Um, and uh, yeah, I rotate those out. I carry a knife with me every day wherever I go. 
for opening boxes, cutting string, things like that. Nothing too crazy. All the things that I have have a place in my body. I, I put them in the same pocket in the same place every single time. When I take my phone, my phone goes in my left pocket and has done since the very first day I got my phone. I don't put anything else in the pocket with it because I don't want the screen to get scratched, even though they're much better today. I just don't like that having anything in that pocket. Ever since I got my AirPods Pro, I keep those in this little small pocket up here. I'm not really sure what it's for, but any pair of jeans has one. That always sits in there. They live in there on their own. They're easy to access and just plop them in. I stick my pen and my knife on the right-hand side of my pocket, and I stick my wallet and money in my right pocket as well. So my, my wallet is always on my right side. I can pull it in and out if I need to. But as you know, these days, you mostly don't need to pull a wallet out with Apple Pay. I actually do most paying for things with my, with my phone in my left hand. I stick my field notes in my back left pocket. I don't even feel like it's there. A lot of the time I forget to take them out when I take my jeans off. Field notes live in my back left pocket. My keys connect to my right pocket. I clip them onto my belt loop there and they just hang in my back pocket on my right. When I sit down, I don't feel them. Super comfortable place to have them. My Rolex is on my left wrist, my Apple Watch is on my right, and then I keep a few super loser friendship bracelets that my sister made for me during the pandemic. Just keep them on my wrist. Reminds me about family at home. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed going through my EDC today. These are the types of videos that I absolutely love watching. What are people carrying in their pockets? What do they bring with them every day? And this is what I'm doing and what I've been doing kind of for the last two years. I am someone who changes things out a lot typically, but I found myself in this routine and I'm really enjoying this setup. But as we go back to work and things change again, I'm sure things will change and I'll keep you up to date as we go. Thanks for watching this video. Good luck.